51 years old, five foot four. She's a nurse from Portland, Oregon, and she gets home from a long shift. She sees a note from her husband. He said that he couldn't sleep well and he had to take some time, went to the beach. He'll be back in a few days. So on a normal day, she walks outside, she checks the mail, she comes back in and she notices that her bedroom is dark, but she normally keeps the, uh, the shades open and stuff. So she's like, mm, that's a bit weird. So she goes to investigate. Once she gets to the doorway, a man pops out, hits her in the head with a hammer, not enough to KO the nurse at this point. So instead of fleeing, running, or just giving up, she closes the distance. She knew that with the weapon, he would not get enough force if she was in close. That's awesome and amazing that she knew that. Now, hold on a minute. How, how do we even get to this point? Hi guys, Teddy Mulvey here, Notorious Crimes. Thanks for the support. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Leave a comment, tell us what you think. And thanks a lot, we really appreciate it. Stay safe. All right, first, let's talk about the husband, Mike Kuhnhausen. He was a janitor at a XXX shop. Ooh, remember those before the internet just took over everything porn? Susan and Mike were married for about two decades and you know, they sh shared some, uh, some interests, stuff like that. They got along pretty well and you know, everything was kind of cool until. Mike had mental issues and researching the story, I'm thinking he definitely should have been on meds or at least like seeing someone, psychiatrist, some sort of a social worker for sure. He got real weird with Susan. He was like tracking her, seeing where she was going, purchases, just kind of got obsessed, trying to like control her and stuff. And Susan was just like, I'm out. And eventually she had enough and she kicked him out in 2005. He then lost his job and ended up living with his dad. So he needed money, right? At this point, he's living with his dad. He's got no job. He's like, you know, so think about it. What do you need? You know, you need, you need money. What do you do? Think about it. There's, you know, this, that, this, that. How about kill your wife? Now, anyone who's in true crimes, it's the insurance money, right? Not so much in this case because Susan, knowing that her husband Mike was a bit cuckoo, changed her life insurance to her brother, smart gal, and closed the distance. So the only thing he had because there was no insurance money at this point was the house. The house was still in both their names and it was about $300,000. Decent amount of money for anybody. And the house was paid off. So you sell it, you get all the cash. Now you want to kill your wife. You aren't stupid enough to do it yourself. So you hire a hitman. Not easy. A uh, dark web, I assume. But it was actually quite easy for Mike because remember at that XXX shop, he actually worked with a guy who killed someone already and did time for it. Did nine years hard time actually. So. Match made in heaven, I guess. Ed Haffey was the man, and he was offered $50,000 to kill Susan, which is a huge payday because he killed someone already for free. So plus 50K, he's all in. So Ed, thinking that she is a complete mark, he thinks it's an easy kill. He gets keys, he gets the alarm code, grabs a backpack, a hammer, would you need anything else? She's 51, she's five foot four. You've killed someone already. Grabs his backpack, grabs his hammer, goes to the house, simply just waits. So when he gets into the house, goes right to the bedroom, of course, closes the curtains, which is the tell for Susan. He crouches down, takes out the hammer and waits. And now we're at the beginning of the story. He sees her walking to the bedroom. He attacks, hits her with the hammer in the head. She 
magically does not go down. She closes the distance, smashes him against the wall. There's a struggle. He loses the hammer. Susan picks it up and smashes his head repeatedly. There's more of a struggle. He gets the hammer back. What does she do? She chokes him out. She chokes him out until he turns blue. She chokes him out. I mean, she is not risking anything. And then he stops struggling. She waits. And when he stops moving, she simply calls 911. Uh, when the cops arrive, uh, you know, they see Ed. Uh, he's pronounced dead at the scene. Uh, quick survey, no forced entry, uh, nothing's in disarray. Uh, doesn't seem like it's a robbery attempt or anything like that. So police are pointing everything to some sort of an inside job. Police survey the crime scene a bit more. They find Ed's bag. They look through it. They see a daily planner and they see call Mike. Hmm. Police are on the case. Two days after this ordeal, Mike leaves his dad's house. And the only thing left behind is a note that reads, all I ever wanted was to be loved. And every time I had it, I effed it up. He was found five days later, husband Mike, in a parking garage of a mental health facility. Was he trying to get help for his mental issues? Or was he just going on this whole like insane plea kind of a thing? A lot of people think that the insane plea is an easier route. Sometimes it's not, uh, but no one can know for sure. He was arrested, didn't really fight it. Uh, it was a conspiracy to commit murder and uh, he got seven years hard time. Uh, afterwards, Susan, understandably, had PTSD. She took uh, self-defense classes. She bought a gun. She learned how to use it. Badass for her, absolutely defend yourself. She did everything in her power to take her life back. She was given the Medal of Heroism. She gives talks. She's currently writing a book, which I will buy and overall became an awesome lady and kind of a beacon for other people to not be the victim, take back your life. When a tragedy happens, there's things you can do afterwards to get back to normal. And if not back to normal, then embrace this life that now you have. Good on you, Susan. Uh, her ex-husband uh, died uh, in prison. He was never released. Uh, that's it. That's the story of Susan Kuhnhausen, whose husband hired a mm, hitman not like a professional mob hitman, but someone who's killed someone before uh, to murder his wife for the house money. And she fought back. Not only did she fight back enough to stay alive, but she fought back to help others in that situation. What a inspirational story there for Susan. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm Teddy Mulvey, and this is Notorious Crimes.